Hey everybody, let's talk about another modification I've done to my DXG579V camcorder. I'm shooting with the DXG567V camcorder right now. Anyways, what I recently done to this thing is I disassembled it and moved the internal microphone up to the front. See, the stock configuration on this camcorder has the microphone in the back, but you always want to have your microphone up front. Up next to the lens, somewhere in that area. That's how most camcorders have it done. I'm not sure why DXG designed it this way. I mean, the 5.6.7V that I'm shooting with right now has the microphone located up front in the stock configuration. But originally with this camcorder, when the microphone was in the back, when you had the LCD flipped out, if you were shooting vi um, a video of somebody in front of you, or if I was shooting a video of myself talking, it was kind of difficult to hear everything because the LCD was always in the way. And of course I want to close up the LCD because I, I always like to see what I'm doing because I mean I can flip it around and see exactly what I'm doing or if I'm shooting video of somebody I'll flip it around this way. So what I did was like I said I disassembled it and pulled the microphone out of its original slot took a pair of dikes and made an itty bitty little hole in this top shell and mounted the microphone up here and things do tend to sound a little bit better now since I made that modification now like I say I'm not, I'm not going to be responsible if you try to do this to your 5.7 IMV but anyways how it's done is first you pop the cover off and take out the batteries and then you have some screws here you have to take out and there's a few screws under where the batteries go you have to take those out then you take the screws out of the top here there's one here and one down here and then you can take off this side cover and this doesn't this right here isn't included with the side cover it's on a daughter board after this comes out you take two screws out of the daughter board I think yeah there's two screws out of the daughter board and then you pop the daughter board out and then next for the main board along with the CMOS sensor there's a few screws that hold it in place you unscrew those and the main board just pulls right out but it's attached to the LCD so it's still kind of in the way but you can easily get to the microphone spot here and what you can do is like I say the microphone pulls out of its original spot and then you can hot glue it up here like I did here. So anyways, that's how you can modify this camcorder to move the mic up front. Another thing I did to this camcorder a while back was I did a little bit of modding to the focusing mechanism. See, this camera here doesn't focus as good as the 5.6.7 does. And of course, keep in mind, these, D these DXG cameras, at least the regular versions have a fixed focus range in which normally they advertise as either macro or standard but there is some in between believe it or not you can go in between and get a good focus the 5.6.7 is better at doing this than the 5.7.9 on the stock configuration the switch either wants to go this way or this way but even after taking even after modifying a little bit it still wants to go either one way or the other so I have to take, take some electrical tape to hold it either halfway or wherever I need it and of course when I did the modification I snipped away the plastic that normally hit the macro switch inside the camera that lit up the little flower on the LCD when that lit up you couldn't do any digital zoom so taking that out allowed me to be able to zoom in even while focused in on an object this is, this is really good when looking at really small stuff on the desk and another thing I had to recently do was glue on a quarter inch bolt, a nut, because the plastic internal nut in this thing more or less stripped out and crumbled to pieces, so I had to stick another one on there. So I more or less took some hot glue and just glued that into place. That way I can stick this camera back on a tripod and be sure it's secure. Anyways, those are the modifications I've done to my 579.
any questions or comments, let me know.